Hey guys and girls, I'm actually uh, doing this tutorial to show you how to actually say, um, actually fix your internet issue if your internet keeps cutting off, dying, not coming back. And this is actually uh, the software is designed specifically for the FIBE uh, internet provided by Dell Canada and uh, DSL lines which might be all over the world. The new FIBE uh, internet is actually, the modems are having issues with dealing with internet at that speed. So um, this software will actually help you actually fix the issues if you're having that, the internet problem. This actually is great for any other um, cutting off internet anyway. So just come to lhf.com, make sure it's in your uh, the home page. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Uh, by the way, this is like, um, all over the world um, recipe site but anyways we don't we don't care about that right now so just come to the courtesy click on the download link make sure you're saving the file open the file location copy or cut whatever <coughs> Uh, come to your C drive, make sure you're at the C drive location, this is very crucial. Um, yeah, I'm just going to replace it just for the heck of it. And then you just uh, extract it. So once you extract it, you're going to have this neat little folder called online. Just want to make sure if it's running mine or not. And then uh, enter the folder, you'll see the green little logo that um, lhf.com has and uh, double click on that so once you double click yeah the website will pop up and then at the bottom here you'll see that red little line and uh, once it actually connects then you're going to see this application launched online meaning you have the internet connection is running live and here the network which is the ip address like is is the, is the modem co is the software able to connect to the modem are they able to handshake and talk so Go to settings. Ah, by the way, yeah. Um, if one of them is red, that means you're having issues, right? So you might be having it. Most likely, you might have an issue with here, right? Because I already installed, I already set up, so that's why mine is already green. But um, come to settings, and this is gonna be your IP address of the uh, modem. So if you click here, you'll get it to your modem right so once you're at your modem uh, some of the modems they're gonna actually ask for username and password so if your modem requires username and password then you'll put them here for example admin and then admin these are some common things um, username and password and to make sure that this is actually properly working the most important you want to make sure that it's working is default one or default two are working and if you have the uh, smart rg 505 and modem then you're in luck just click on that make sure you got the IP you got the username and password and you're good to go but if you don't uh, you have a different modem like mine you select default one and then press test so you'll see the quickly flashing two black um, screens so what it's doing right now is trying to communicate with the modem flash the cache in memory and then um, uh, what it'll do it'll restart it to see it's able to restart the modem so you gotta monitor the uh, modem status right now to see if the modem has restarted if it did not restart then this application is not able to um, talk with the uh, modem so try default 2 and then well press test again and this time it will actually um, Hopefully, it will actually restart. So one th these two, <coughs> they are one of the most common calls to restart. Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that. And these are the two common ways to actually restart the modem uh, through Telnet, for example, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not in luck, then just deselect select modem. And here is the command. So you're going to write this command. So that'll be restart, uh, reboot is one of the common uh, codes, restart is another one you can write. 
R start I've seen too. Um, sorry. Um, R start is another one. I'm not too sure which modem you're using. You need to actually find out for the right modem, uh, right code for your modem. And um, yeah, and once you're done, I'll just get back to the um, original settings. I think mine is default one. So once you're done, uh, go back. So now you have a neat feature here. You have an auto start. So this auto start is, is I guess means well deceiving is not that the uh, um, software automatically loads on startup. No, this means that once you open the software, it will automatically start functioning. It will read the settings and start monitoring the um, the uh, internet connection. And um, <coughs> if you want to make sure that this actually loads and starts up from, from scratch once you start the computer, then just come to the folder here. What is it? And um, click here. Make yourself a um, desktop shortcut. And then once you have the desktop shortcut, just open the um, startup folder. And this location here is this. If you have a Windows 8, for example, you don't see it in the start menu anymore. So this is going to be the username of your computer. Just open the folder direction. Just copy and paste this with your own username and password. Uh, with your own username inserted here. Just copy and paste it here. And you know, you'll, you'll just get into it and just paste it here, the shortcut. Once the shortcut is pasted here, uh, okay, I guess I didn't create it. So once the shortcut is pasted there, just give me a sec. So cut and paste it here. Voila. So once this is done, uh, once you restart the computer, it will run the application. Make sure you have a check mark auto start. It will start monitoring so you don't you know have to worry about your internet problem. Whenever you'll see like um, um, black screens flashing around. Um, this is a very neat software actually. It will detect uh, some trouble with your modem or your internet before before your browser or your computer will actually figure it out. So even though you're browsing and you think like, oh yeah, I'm online, I'm browsing. Um, this software, once you see it blinking black screens, that means you're actually not really browsing. It's, it's actually fetching it from your memory bank. And uh, if you don't have the software running, you'll see like it will actually just hang out on you right on the next page or something like that. So yeah, that's basically it. Enjoy. Mm, luck with browsing.